ya pues, le dieron otra vez a la casa. All right, Sarge, can I have you spell your first, your last name, sir, and what agency you're with? I'm Sergeant Brandon Clyde, the press information officer for the Fullerton Police Department. Sergeant and it's Brandon, B-R-A-N-D-O-N, last name Clyde, C-L-Y-D-E. Sergeant, uh, talk about a quiet neighborhood here, starting with the time, walk me through this. Yeah, so tonight at about 9.20 hours, the Fullerton Police Department received a call of a shooting here in the 1300 block of East Wilshire. Upon the officer's arrival, they located two adults uh, that were shot in this uh, residence here on this street. One was a adult male and the other one was an adult female. The adult male was found deceased on scene and the adult female was transported to UCI Medical Center and is currently in stable condition. Um, do you have a description of the suspect you're looking for? I know detectives are just arriving right now, very early in the investigation. Talk about that. So our investigators are gathering multiple witness statements and we're trying to gather as much as we can about suspect information as well as suspect vehicle information. Um, and we're gathering that currently right now as you speak. If anybody did see something, there was a lot of people in the area at the time. Uh, with an area code, what is the number they can call or maybe a crime stopper? Yeah, so the uh, lead detective for this is going to be Detective Hines. Her telephone number is 714-738-5334, and certainly Crime Stoppers is another uh, avenue if you want to uh, report that as well. You got a call originally uh, before this incident of a person with a gun in this way neighborhood. We'll talk about that. Correct. So we are investigating another incident that occurred uh, about nine minutes prior, um, several blocks down, and we're trying to establish whether that is connected to the uh, location, and it was a, a brandishing of a firearm. For witnesses that, were, that uh, you spoke with, it just did it appear that might be the suspect you're looking for? At this time, we don't know. We are looking to see whether they are related. Obviously, the close proximity of a, a nine-minute uh, delay between the two calls uh, is certainly a possibility, and again, it is avenue we are currently investigating. Talk about the home here. Um, were they, they were inside the home at the time? Correct. It does appear that the uh, shooting did occur inside the residence. Okay. Do we know at this time, I know there, she's in surgery and the deceased party is inside. Do we know if they knew each other? Uh, at this time, we don't know any uh, suspect information, whether they knew each other. Um, we are looking to see uh, whether it was possibly gang related. At this time, there is no indication that it is gang related, uh, but we are looking to see whether there is any um, information on whether it's a known suspect, uh, any relationship between the victim and the suspect. Anybody else home at the time during the shooting? It does not appear that anyone was el else was in the location at the time. Um, do we have the re a relationship to the two people that were struck by the gun? At this time, uh, the male and the female, both adults, uh, we don't know the relationship between them at this time. Yourself, um, do you have anything to add? Uh, at this time, again, if anybody knows anything, has any information with uh, any vehicles or people leaving the scene, again, uh, contact that detective at that telephone number and or Crime Stoppers.